watching Mr. Tony of the Dead's Reviews. <laughs> Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. And this one's going to be on Mirror Mirror. This is from Dark Force Entertainment, and it's directed by Marina Sargenti. This movie is about this girl who named Megan, and she moves to this new town, and she kind of like really stands out because she's like kind of gothic looking and she's from California so she moves to this small Iowa town after her father passed away and she moves there with her mother played by Karen Black and they move into this old mansion that has this well it's not a mansion it's this really big house that has this history to it and she finds this kind of strange mirror in the house and she doesn't realize that at first that this mirror has this you know ability to grant her these wishes and she can control it like she gets superpowers from it, like special powers from it but she doesn't realize that it's from a demon and it's slowly going to be taking her over movie came out in 1990 and uh it's the character megan is played by rainbow harvest and that's her real name which is kind of cool in a way she reminds you like the first thing i thought of was lydia deets you know from beetlejuice like she just screams Lydia you know and uh, there's nothing wrong with that but like that's what I see when I saw her very kinda you know nothing and, and the thing is she's not she's very shy and she gets picked on by all these people just because she's different and you know I get that you know I, I can I can understand not from their point of view from her point of view like that's you know pretty terrible that people are like that just because of how she's dressing like she's all in black she's gothic you know um or she doesn't exactly say that but everybody there says like punk look is out when she's not punk at all that's just how they are they're uh, a lot of them and of course they're the popular ones that are picking on her and she gets these powers from this mirror and things start to happen slowly she doesn't exactly uh, realize it's her doing it at first and then she catches on and she kind of gets uh you know if you piss her off she, something's gonna happen to you like the girl was pissing her off and i guess in her head she was thinking oh i want her no you know i want her to bleed or something and her nose starts bleeding like it will not stop and uh, you know there was that and then things happened to other people that pissed her off and then it got worse throughout the movie um but yeah it was uh it was actually a pretty decent movie i enjoyed it um i remember the vhs i had the vhs but uh they had the like kind of like this cover on the VHS sort of like that but there was a mirror on it and certain of one of the covers like certain covers had a reflective surface to it like it was shiny I kind of wish this had that like I wish it had the original cover to it and the, and the mirror was there and it had like a glossy like um, reflective surface to it it was kind of neat um, it was also kind of looked like there was something in the mirror like if you moved it it looked like there was like something there it was pretty cool but the edition i had didn't have that but it might have been a sticker or something but i don't know either way this is the blu-ray movie spawned a few sequels as well and you know uh, i have to check them out yet too but uh the one thing i didn't really care for was the ending to this um it just kind of like left me like eh. you know it, it I just didn't really care for the ending and it kind of reminded me a little bit of like Wishmaster because you make a wish where like you basically ask it for something and it gives it to you and you know um, it's just kind of like Wishmaster in a way um, <clears throat> I think this came out before Wishmaster I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm pretty sure it did though um, so maybe Wishmaster got the idea I don't know but it just it kind of had that vibe I mean at least the ending did um, and I don't know I, I don't know if it's because of I you know it's like oh that's almost like Wishmaster or actually it's probably the way it ended because it kind of like well, how it ha how it ends and then it's just kind of like well that's it she like that happened and now you don't know what happens after that and it's like now maybe it's explained in the second one I haven't seen it yet but I don't know but uh, I will say that the picture on this looked really good. I, I thought it looked really good. I did play it in a PlayStation 4. Usually I watch these movies in like a 4K player. 
Uh, this was in a PlayStation 4 with a 4K TV, and I thought it looked really, really nice. Uh, really, really nice. There are no captions, though, and that's a shame because I always like watching these in captions. But the sound quality was really, really good, so I didn't need the captions. And, uh, you know, there was no parts where it was too loud or, or, or I should say, too quiet or anything. I thought the sound was actually very, very good. Um, they did a very good job with it. And uh, so it didn't need the captions. But, of course, I would love to have the captions as the option. And it didn't. So that's just one thing that kind of like, eh, you know, like. Um, but it is from a 35 millimeter negative, uh, you know, HD transfer. And like I said, it looks really good. I think it looks good. And, you know, I thought the actors were all pretty likable. Like, you know, you're, like, I always say this, you like who you're, who you're going to like, who you're supposed to like, and then you dislike the ones you're not supposed to like. Uh, the kills in this were okay. They were, I think they could have been better. I think it could have been more imaginative in a way. Uh, like, some of them had the potential to be really cool. Like, one girl, like, gets steamed to death. And it just shows her back and her legs and that all burnt up, kind of like, not even burnt, it's kind of like melted, right? But like, you, I think they could have gone even further with that. That was a horrific scene, though, because it's like, oh, that's got to hurt, you know, because like, she can't get out of the room. And, you know, it's just, there was another one where um, something in the mirror comes out to grab somebody. And it's just like their face just starts getting bloody in that. But there's no claw marks or anything like that. And it's like, I thought they were going to pull this person into the mirror and then they just kind of drop down. It was like kind of like, oh, you know. A couple of dogs get killed, but you don't see it. You just see the aftermath. And um, <laughs> I don't know. It was just something, you know. Uh, but I, I, other than that, though, I thought the kills could have been better. But basically everybody who kind of wanted to die died almost everybody um and there was some really chaotic parts too with uh you know because this thing plays the mirror plays tricks on you and stuff like that like it uh you know it can trick your mind into what you've seen so that was pretty sinister but yeah um all in all i i'm glad i finally got to see this and it really does scream the 90s even though it's like 1990 that came out it reminds me of the 90s like that one you know it's you know maybe it was made in 89 and it came out in 90 I don't really know but it like has that that feel to it feels like a 90s movie also the only thing that's on the special features is this it's called reflections on mirror mirror it's a feature with the producers and um, it's the producers were Virginia Perfili and Gary Rasmussen and they were like um, these two people that they did music videos and stuff for back in the day and they were you know really good at it so they would hot people would hire them to do their videos and then they started their own company and then they decided let's take a crack at the movies so that's what they did and then you know they did you know made this and uh, you know and it was like I said it was directed by Marina Sargenti and uh, she don't I don't honestly know she's alive uh but they talk about her in here and that and uh you know so there's not much special features which is a shame too i would have liked to see more special features but no there's not um but hey uh i again thought it looked good and it sounded good and you know it's kind of like um i wouldn't say it's bare bones edition but because you do get a slip cover and all that but you know uh, I just think there, I wish there was more to this, you know, addition. But I'll show you now what's inside. All right, here you have this slip cover, and it comes off, and it's just a normal slip cover. And on the back, or on the inside, it has the same thing. So if you're not into slip covers, you probably don't really need this. But, you know, uh, mine came with it, so that's great and I believe they do come with it so you probably are gonna get one anyway and here is the blu-ray here just it's kind of like the same it's the same cover as on the back and the blu-ray is region a B and C and like I said it did star Karen black as her mom as Megan's mother and uh, she's very kind of strange in the beginning she she's not grieving grieving over the of the husband that died and uh, you know 
she's kind of like flirting with other men and that she's kind of like almost like she's moved on already and you know the the daughter is like you know lost she's lost and then eventually Karen Black's character like notices this and she kind of wants to try to be the mother so like in the beginning like she wants to be the mother she's supposed to be I should say and in the beginning I didn't really like her character like she she wears like wigs all the time and there's nothing wrong with wigs but like she, she was so fake she was very fake and then she kind of redeemed herself by you know wanting to be there for her when she noticed her daughter was down the dumps and you know like she said she looks very sad and stuff like that so you know too little too late i guess all in all though i did enjoy this movie i thought it was pretty cool i'm glad i got to see it and i think the addition you know looks pretty good i think if somebody were to put out another edition of this i would like to see special features more special features maybe that cover that i said like the original have like a little like reflect it, it's not like ref it's reflective but it's kind of like 3d-ish in the same sense kind of like those action figures back in the day that had the the glowy thing on their chest and it looked like uh you know like a like i don't know like a lion or something like that i can't think what they're called but like one of those I, i'll try to think of the name but anyway yeah i would say check this out it's not bad uh, i enjoyed it and the addition's really good too or it would be cool to see somebody bring out all of them uh, on Blu-ray, you know, like a, a pack or something like that, uh, because Dark Force Entertainment does have this one and the second one on Blu-ray, but I don't know if the third one's out on Blu-ray by anybody. I don't believe it is, but maybe it's in the talks, maybe it's in the works. That'd be cool. But yeah, a box set of them would be cool as well. I would think that would be, you know, a cool box set to have. But yeah, so yeah, that's Mirror Mirror, and that's all I'm going to say. So thanks everybody for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and follow me on any one of the social media links in the description box below. If you're interested in this, I'll put a link below where you can go and purchase it. Also, I'll put a trailer below, a link for a trailer. And if you're interested in that, you can check that out too. But like I always say, proceed with caution. It may contain spoilers. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.